something about riding on rocks that's just it's quite different to other terrain that you ride on where it's it's so direct especially clean rock like stuff in the Coolin. it's so grippy and solid you really feel a connection to the ground in a way that you don't feel on dirt or any other kind of terrain that you're riding one of the things about riding the slick rock is you can't really make any mistakes otherwise yeah, it's it's like a giant cheese grater that just keeps going on and on with cliffs all over the shop as well, so you've got to make sure that you're, uh, <laughs> you stay in control. <laughs> Stocking food for the day. Try to work out how many people, how much food six people eat. used to island life and uh, stopping for fuel whenever they get a chance. So we're here down in Elgol, classic spot where we started the ridge in uh, 2014. We got the rowing boat from here and then we went off into the, well, you can see the full Coolon Ridge here in the background. And if you look just above the boat to the piece of rock that's lit up over there, it's quite a wide lens, you probably can't, can't quite see it, but that's the dew slabs, which you can, are looking pretty good, getting nice and dry for me. <laughs> Starting off a, a film shoot by boat definitely feels like more of an adventure. You know, the cool thing about the slabs is, is that they are so isolated, you know, there's no access by roads. I suppose over the last few years I've been really inspired by climbers and mountaineers, watching lots of films uh, where they're kind of going out and coming up with new projects that are really pushing their own limits, you know, maybe pushing the boundaries of filmmaking as well. And sort of two things together just seemed like something I would like to get more into, you know, going and test myself against the environment and kind of seeing what was possible on my bike. We're going to actually start climbing the slab. It's quite fun. It's a bit of a, I think you call it a scramble. That's what people actually come here to do, is to scramble up these slabs. So we're going to do it today. I think I've been in this position before in the cool there. Nice bit of uh, exercise in the morning. Get your lungs going. I don't think Danny had quite explained, I guess, how severe the climb was. Feeling yeah, stoked. It was a hell of a scramble because we had uh, pretty heavy backpacks on. It just made us feel like unbalanced turtles, I think. <laughs> Watching Dave using some very unorthodox climbing techniques. <laughs> What's that, Dunk? You know, wedging in rocks with your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Careful, Robbie. You're the bomb, you're the man. Before we went over to film with the camera crew, a few weeks prior, I went over with my e-bike with my friends Doug Sutton and James Sutton. Both Doug and James are really experienced climbers. The idea is down, down here. All of those. Down, down. It's, uh, they're pretty... Oh, oh wait, they're actually quite steep. <laughs> My dream was to try to find a line that ran down as much of the slab as possible. Absolutely hellish. This is, this is the creepy part. If you're riding the mountain bike, you're normally riding on a trail. It's well marked, obviously, because it's the brown patch that goes through the trees or wherever you're going. Whereas on the, the slabs, it all kind of looks the same. I put a couple of little sort of standing stones on the way down to try to guide me a little bit and then try not to ride up a cliff. It's looking pretty uh, scary. It's been a while since I've ridden any slabs like this and I've never ridden a line quite like this one in my life. Ow. I think it's work. We 
managed to put in a couple of good solid hours of work, getting some really good shots and building momentum for the rest of the day. Oh, sh oh no. Oh. Oh, boys. She's off the edge. Five shots in after getting some bangers. Um, Andy had to cut the motor and the drone is down here somewhere. So Dunk's made it his mission and he's gonna find it. The drone ended up like tomahawking down and off the edge of like quite a big cliff. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to find the drone that we crashed. So if any competent mountaineers happen to be in that area and find the drone, then uh, we'll definitely give you some kind of reward of a GoPro and maybe a Mars bar if you find it. First time you've been a bit scared today. I wasn't scared actually. I wasn't scared. <laughs> no, I actually generally wasn't. Like there's I'm not really getting adrenaline from this kind of stuff. It's more just like it's just being careful. Okay, so we're just gonna go over the edge here. I guess the first day went really well. Everything had worked out pretty good until we got to the last feature of the day and the weather really started to come in. The sort of real crux of the whole film was this final slab, sort of 200 foot high of 60 degree, very, very scary rock. You know, scary enough to be on it on your feet, but the idea of trying to ride down it on the mountain bike was, um, Definitely right at my oh. limit. Oh. Oh. Just keep it slow. It's very steep. <laughs> this one is steep. It's just the fact it's got such a horrible run out. I don't think I've ever been so stressed watching. I was filming it and at one point I was like trying to close my eyes because I didn't want to watch. <sighs> oh, well, this last bit's a little on the scary side. Uh, I think we've, got, we've managed to crack most of it and uh, now that it's raining it's getting a wee bit slippy so we might come back for more. Oh no. I was really pleased with what we had managed to achieve in a day. <laughs> Most of the lines worked, you know, there was some stuff that was a little bit on the limit. Apart from the sort of bottom slab, we had kind of gotten most of the shots we had come to get. Word had got round that we'd been filming the Coolins. I think every kid in the village of Elgol had turned up with their bikes to come and uh, see us off the boat, which is pretty cool. And they took us to one of their spots called the Tree where they'd built a few jumps and uh, I partook doing a few jumps for them as well, which is pretty cool, although it was almost pitch black by the time we got there. It definitely reminded me of me and my friends when we were kids. Any, any time of day, any weather, just having fun. The film was really coming together, but for me, I knew I had to go back. I just received some new soft compound tires, which I knew was going to allow me to push for lines that I wasn't able to do on the first day. And of course, it was going to allow me to tackle the second slab. I really couldn't believe our luck with the weather. It's pretty rare to get these kind of conditions in the Coolins. And I was feeling confident with my new tires. And I think the whole crew were feeling a lot more comfortable. We all couldn't wait to get up there and see what we could capture. But like the gravity's just trying to drag you right down the mountain. And you're just kind of just holding everything back. You stand on the edge of something, that little feeling every now and then. You realise where you are and you get a little rumble in your tummy. Couldn't imagine what it would be like riding down this.
because it's just sort of a blank canvas of slab it's really tricky to, to know where Danny's going to go instead of like usually you'd follow a track Robbie's uh, kindly offered to watch at this time. So you think he carries his bike all the way up. In reality, we all carry his bike up and then he just rides down and then I carry his bike up again. I wish. <laughs> That's how it's going from now on. There's one bit where you're literally pointing, you're skidding sideways and you're pointing off the cliff and it's just like, Woo! So after another amazing day on the slabs, we got through all the lines that I'd sort of dreamt of. It all came down to the bottom slab. <laughs> the last time I tried it, it had rained and it was just not going to be possible. But this time I felt with my new tires, I was going to be able to tackle the whole thing in one go. Danny just rode down that. Like 90% of it's grippy, but that 10% where you can lose your foot and then it's hellish. God, hard going there. It's 50 degrees. That bit there is steeper there, see? I don't want to walk there, Danny. <laughs> you right. can find it out yourself. <laughs> the worst thing about this whole slab is that it's got no... The run out's absolutely terrible, it's only got one spot. And if I, let, if I went off any other bit, it would be a bad time. So you're just trying to keep in control. But it's right, this is definitely on the edge for me. Like. Can't really tell here, maybe, but this is steep. Just shout me when you're ready. For me, the bottom slab was a real question mark on whether it was going to be possible for me to get down with my bike. We hadn't seen it done. The last time we were there, I almost watched him slide off of it. So this time around, we were definitely a little bit more stressed and apprehensive of how it was going to go. Whenever you're ready, dude. I don't want to watch it either. I suppose the feeling when you get down to the bottom slab was definitely uh, relief uh, more than anything. It was uh, by far one of the most exposed things I've ever done on my bike. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Raspy was filming and looking away. There be some interesting framing on the BTS film on there, Rory with his eyes closed. <laughs> I didn't watch most of it. Fair <laughs> play, dude. That is some hard flying. I'm pleased that it all worked out. And we got some really, really, really cool footage. Well, if I don't say so myself, but I think the boys absolutely smashed it. And uh, can't wait to get it edited up to a good tune. And um, yeah. Nice. Meant. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a bit burnt. <laughs> <laughs>